Greetings. My name is Matthew Jones. I am a senior Citrix instructor with Layer 8 Training. And today we are going to jump in and talk about a really neat, new, and exciting functionality that Citrix has brought about called Micro Apps. Uh, it is a new feature, but it is also a part of something that has been uh, developed for uh, quite a while and becoming a little bit more popular in its uh, current iteration. And uh, that would be what's called Citrix Workspace. Workspace itself, as a part of the Citrix Cloud, is fairly new. The idea of the access piece to get into uh, things like Zen Appins and Desktop or uh, Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktops, that's been around for quite a while. We used to do it back with the web interface. Now we do it with Storefront. As we move to the Citrix Cloud, that functionality takes on the name workspace. And so a lot of people going in and using the Citrix Cloud uh, environment are probably familiar with the Citrix workspace. That is where we go to get access to our apps and desktops. Very similar to what Storefront does. What makes it a little bit different is Citrix has added in some really cool other functionality uh, or some and functionality. And so it's the ability to come in and get access to Citrix virtual apps and desktops and some other stuff. Uh, for instance, they've got uh, a product out there called ShareFile. And this is the ability to go in and interact with all of our um, data from any device anywhere. And uh, we can go in and have our own interface and our own apps and all of that. Or we can use Workspace. And so you can log into Workspace and see your virtual apps and desktops and your data. And so we're going to take a look at another AND product, and this is called uh, MicroApps. And then sometimes people go in and say that this really adds some uh, intelligent functionality to what we can do with this workspace piece. So it starts to be called Workspace with Intelligence. And so what they're talking about is they are talking about MicroApps. So let's go in and kind of break this down and see where MicroApps are going to uh, help us with uh, what it is that we're trying to do. And so what we've got is, uh, I just made up the scenario, made up the scenario and the data and all this other stuff. So let's just say that we've got uh, somebody we're bringing on board and they've got a job or a task or whatever. And uh, let's say they're doing something related to HR. So we hire this person and their job role is to go in and take a look at and respond to request for time off or uh, paid time off or PTO. And so what happens is we're bringing this user in and uh, they are going to be sitting there and looking at how users are coming in and requesting time off. And then we can go in and add to that approvals or uh, correspondence or whatever we need to. But the general idea is they're going to be sitting there looking at when people are making requests for PTO. So how are they going to do this? Now, here I'm just going to make stuff up. What we're going to do is I'm going to make up a uh, app. And so I'm just going to go in and grab an app, and I'm going to say this app does everything that we need for tracking paid time off. Okay? And then, of course, my name is Matthew Jones, so we'll name it after me. It's the Jones PTO app. And uh, what it's going to do is it's going to have a front end. It's going to have a database on the back end and all of that good stuff. So really exciting. So how is a user going to go in and work with this? And so what I've done is I've put together this timeline for time management. And so what the user is going to do is the user is going to show up to work. They are going to launch the Jones PTO uh, app or you know HR app or whatever. And they are going to sit there and wait for people to make a request for time off. And so then a user will go in and make a request for time off. And uh, then we will go in and get notified of it. And life is good. Now, I put this in a red box here and said that the, we are waiting for data. And so we're not necessarily going in and doing anything until somebody says they need time off. So what do we do? And so I put it in red and I put the little red arrow extending off into the future because we are in this hurry up and wait mode. And so we are sitting here waiting for somebody to come in and do something. Yeah. And so that can be a little bit tricky. Okay. Now, let's take a look at what's actually happening here. And so what you've got is you've got this Jones PTO app 
Okay, really cool, gra awesome graphics and all that stuff. You've got a database with all the pertinent information. So when somebody makes a request for paid time off, we've got their first name, their last name, uh, when they're leaving, when they're coming back, and why they need paid time off. And then the user that we're talking about is just sitting here staring at this paid time off app looking to see, did somebody make a request? And uh, then once they do, then we've got something to do. And until then, what are we doing? And uh, that can be a little bit uh, tricky to go in and take a look at what it is we're doing while we're waiting for this. And uh, I'm not going to say that we're waiting for paint to dry, but uh, it can almost seem like it. Now, here's the cool thing. What if we actually had some functionality that would go in and do this for us? Yeah. And uh, so what we've got is we've got this new technology of micro apps. And so what a micro app does is it involves this data integration service where it can go in and take a look at uh, what's going into this database. And so instead of launching a full-fledged app and then seeing what happens, we can go in and actually uh, have the micro app service do this for us. And so Citrix and a part of the Citrix cloud is going to sit there, take a look at our data, check on our data periodically, and then if something changes, create a notification. Now, what is it going to do with that? And then I've already introduced the Citrix workspace. And I said that the Citrix workspace is where cool stuff happens. So if you are a uh, virtual apps and desktops customer uh, or user, you go into a uh, workspace and you can see your apps and desktops. If you've got ShareFile, you've got access to your ShareFile stuff. So we can go in and leverage this micro app, tie that in with what we're doing, and then have it notify us when uh, something happens. Okay? And so as users come in and take a look at this, we can go in and interact with uh, this functionality in one nice, easy to go in and uh, interact with uh, experience. Let me show you a little bit of what this is going to look like. And so what happens is, We've got this idea that there is uh, data on the back end, and uh, I can go in and grab my database. And so this is just a basic database. So I know I'm making this up as I go along, and I've got my Jones PTO app, uh, but there's real data there. And there's a data on the ba uh, database on the back end that's got uh, information. And so you've got somebody making a request, and uh, this is where that data is. And it's all about how we react to this data. And so instead of actually having to use our front end, we can go in and interact with this from a uh, micro app perspective and have it take a look at what's going on. And so what I can do is I can come in here and I can just go in and say I've got, you know, Jane, whoops, Jane Doe uh, wants to take off, uh, well, we got the Ides of March. So a few days uh, break here. What is today? We can plug in uh, something like this and uh, just make up some excuse of why it is they want to go in and uh, take off. Okay. And so we can go in and put this in place. Great. And save it. And so what happens is I've got a database and I've got data going into the database. Now, not a big fancy front end, but I'm able to go in and interact and stick data into what's going on here. Now, what I can do is I can go into my micro apps functionality and say, let's go in and take a look at this data. Let's take a look at this uh, uh, database. And if things change, let's uh, notify our users. And so what I'll do is I'll go in and actually uh, set this up so I've got a user that gets access to this information. I'll go in and set it up so that it uh, uh, Citrix uh, Cloud knows where this uh, database is and if there's any changes. And then what I've got for my user is Workspace. And so I've got this URL. So uh, I've got mrjones.cloud.com. That is a website maintained by Citrix. And it allows me to go in and interact with that cool Workspace functionality. So I've got a user account like this. And my user can come in here and log in. And then what happens is they're logging into the workspace. And then this gives them access to 
uh, valuable information about uh, what is happening. And so what they've got is they've got this data about what is going on uh, within the environment. So they've got, uh, if I had Synapins in desktop, it would say uh, apps and desktops, and I'd be able to see my applications there. Yep. Here I've got my Citrix files. So this is my share file stuff. So here's stuff that's in share file. Uh, I've got access to it. And so what I've got access to shows up front and center in here to be able to go in and say, you've got certain things that uh, you need to go in and do. And so typically I could come in and interact with Citrix virtual apps or desktops or my share file data all from one place. And then you'll see this activity feed here. And so I've got some different things going on from an activity perspective of here's different things that are happening and what I would like to go in and provide in terms of functionality. And so I want to go in and kind of see a little bit of what's happening here. Okay, so my user logs in and then what happens is I've got workspace and all the cool stuff that I can do with workspace. So if I had Citrix virtual apps and desktops, my apps and desktops would show up here. Uh, I've got share file and some of the data that I have access to. I can go in and see that from here as well. Um, and then what happens is I'm going in and using my workspace functionality to tie into a micro app. And so this is a micro app that I've created to look at my database Okay, from the West uh, RESTDB.io database, be able to look at that and see when somebody's uh, dumped something new in here. And so I can go in and see that there is a new request. Uh, this is what we call a uh, notification. Uh, it causes a uh, card or a pop-up when I click on it to give me all of the uh, details. And then if I needed to, I can go in and get more elaborate and all of that good stuff about what's going on. And so what happens is now, instead of sitting here waiting for something to happen, I've got a whole bunch of other things that I could be doing right here within Workspace. So number one, we've increased the value of the Citrix Workspace uh, feature. And so it's now going in and giving me data with the share file integration. It's giving me my apps and desktops from the uh, CVAD integration. And now I've got these tasks, these micro apps. And so it's looking to see when something happens and providing a notification. And so I can go in and see that I've got a notification. That's great. Okay. So what this does is it goes in and really changes our uh, timeline. And so now what happens is uh, I log into Citrix Workspace and uh, PTO stuff will just appear kind of uh, magically. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to be sitting here able to go in and look for uh, things happening. And what that does is it frees up a lot of my productivity. I'm not launching a full-fledged app, not going in and looking at massive uh, tools and things of that nature. It's very, very focused. I am looking to see inside of Workspace, did somebody uh, come in and make a request? And so it frees up my time to do all sorts of other stuff. So uh, what we'll do is we will jump in and launch our favorite solitaire game and uh, not be productive, right? No, that's not a good idea. So uh, we'll have to go in and scrap that. So what it can do is it can go in and make us more productive. And what we're able to do is go in and kind of expand out what we might be looking for. So let's go in and take this job role functionality to a different level. So what we can do is we can go in and say, okay, you've got a job role. You work for this company. Here's what you do. We've established that you sit there and look for people making requests for paid time off. Now, let's say that as a company, uh, maybe we do, uh, we cover news stories. So exciting things happen and we go in and cover them. And so uh, we've got editors and printing presses or however we deliver it um, and beat writers, people going in and doing these interviews, writing these articles, whatever. So let's say that our job function is now not just to look for paid time off request, but to also go in and look for exciting events uh, in the news that we should be covering. And so we can go in and expand out our job role to say, let's go in and do other stuff. Okay. So now what we do is we go in and we've kind of got the uh, PTO piece. Uh, I'm not going to say on autopilot, but we've got workspace jumping in and helping us with that component.
So now we're going to go in and scour the internet looking for news articles. So we can go to news.google.com. We can go in and check out uh, you know, ABC and CBS and NBC and CNN and Fox News and all of that, uh, or ESPN if we're going for sports or whatever. So we can go in and look for all of this stuff that's out there and uh, then maybe be able to find something and say, okay, hey, look, here's something that's newsworthy. Okay. Now, guess what? We can also go in and we can do this through a micro app. And so what you've got is you've got, uh, in this example, we've got a uh, website out there. It's called newsapi.org. And what it is, is it is a database of all of the exciting news from around the world. So you've got all sorts of different sources uh, that are putting together these news articles. They are categorized. So do we want sports or elections, uh, top headlines, technology, whatever? Um, we've got different localities. So United States, worldwide, Canada, Mexico, Europe, whatever we need. And so we can go in and sort through all of this data to be able to find this information. So why not create a micro app using the uh, workspace capability, have that micro app look for changes to this database. So new articles and things that come about. And then when we see them, let's dump them into workspace. So now I can go in and have my Jones paid time off program. I can also have my news app. And so what we can do is I can go in and create this news app. And what I'll do is I'll go in and set it up, uh, have it look for, you know, different things that I want to go in and pull down. And so I've got the ability to go in and say, I want to look for technology or sports or uh, whatever. Uh, so technology is uh, a uh, big one uh, around this time of year. Elections, so just news in general, whatever. And so what I can do is I can go in and put this in place, kind of pull up a bunch of uh, valuable information about what is going on in the news world and uh, be able to make that available. And so what I can do is I can create an app that's going to say, let's see what's going on and then uh, make that available for this uh, user. And so what we do is we go in, we subscribe the user to this app, and then that is going to give them the ability to really see what it is that we have going on and uh, be able to let them jump in and respond to that. And so what I'll do is, let me just jump in and uh, make this available for this user. So I subscribe my user one to this. That goes in and controls the um, app functionality to go in and say when things happen, you get access to it. And then I can go in and say, I want to you know, grab whatever topics and things that I want to uh, have it search for. And so it goes in and does this integration, looks for changes to whatever. And so if we see sports stuff out there, great. And so we can go in and put that in place. We can go in and configure how often our uh, notification service or our integration service interacts with this environment to find these different things that we are looking for. And so we go in and get these different pieces, we put this in place, and then deliver this to the user. And so the idea is that we can go in and bring these users in and be able to show them this workspace with a uh, much uh, more detailed view of exactly what it is that uh, they're supposed to do. So what happens is my user logs in, and I just refreshed the page here because they were logged in, and I said, let's go find sports stuff. And so what happens is we've got all sorts of sports news. Uh, the uh, NFL and the collective bargaining agreement, they've gone and approved that and kind of what they want to do with that. You've got uh, Tom Brady uh, becoming a free agent for the first time in his career. Uh, about eight different teams that would love to see him come and uh, play for them. You've got uh, all sorts of different things happening. NFL uh, draft coming up. We've got uh, probably a lot of stuff with basketball. We got Steph Curry being out for a while, coming back, all sorts of things like that. And so these are news articles from all sorts of different sources uh, that are in here. And then I've got my app set up. So, you know, if something was interested to you, uh, what's going on here? And then what we can do is we can go in and see a little bit of the uh, information here. This is a much larger article. I've also got it set up, so I've got a link. So if this is interesting and I was uh, 
wanted to do something with this, I can click on it. It takes me to where this actually came from. So you guys know this is ESPN, and this is stuff off the ESPN website, and I had it delivered right to me. And so I can go in and do this thanks to micro apps. And so with this micro app, I can have it do some of the heavy lifting and then just stick what I need right there front and center. And so it makes my uh, process a little bit easier. So now I've got uh, logged into Workspace. I've got my PTO micro app taking care of are there changes in what's going on with uh, PTO. And then I've got uh, a new micro app looking for news articles. And so that's uh, very exciting. It allows me to jump in, really kind of see what is going on with changes to that uh, public database. And I've got an API that lets me go in and interact with that. Um, so I've got all sorts of free time so I can go back to playing my favorite solitaire game, right? No, we decided we are not going to go in and use this to be uh, unproductive uh, or counterproductive. And so what it's doing is it's going in and freeing up the ability for us to get more done. Okay, so... Let's go back to kind of this uh, fictitious job role that we put together. And so we brought somebody in. They were doing HR stuff. They're looking at paid time off. That's great. Uh, and then they've got all sorts of uh, free time on their hand thanks to improved productivity from micro apps. So now they're looking for events that the beat writers can go in and cover. So now that we've got help with that from micro apps... Why not uh, turn this person into a reporter themselves? So if they see something that's exciting um, in those sporting events or technology events and they want to go in and cover it, why not? And so uh, if we're talking about being some type of uh, online publication or print publication or whatever, um, anybody can jump in and write a story. So if they see news, they want to cover it, they can jump in and uh, report it. And then what we can do is follow it up with, they also need to pay t uh, go in and take paid time off to go cover this story. So what that means is now they've come full circle. So what they're going to do is they're going to be going in and paying attention to what's happening in workspace for their first job function and their second job function. And then if they see something and they're going to go in and report on it, then they're going to make a request for paid time off. So now they are the very person that we were waiting on in the very beginning. And so they find something interesting. They're going to go in and open up the Jones paid time off app, make a request, and uh, get that filled out. Okay. Now, that does require going in and opening up the app and being able to make that uh, request. What we could do, since we've learned that data is data and micro apps is all about let's just go in and interact with the data, what if we went in and actually created a micro app? for requesting paid time off. So now if the user finds something interesting, they found it while they're in workspace and from within workspace, why not be able to just go in and fill out the information and say, I'd like paid time off. And so we can go in and create a functionality where we can take this uh, micro app and uh, allow it to write back into that database. So ask them first name, last name, uh, beginning of their uh, break to uh, end of their break and why they need a break. Go in and put that information in play and uh, dump it into the database. So you saw me go in on the back end and stick data into the database. Why not be able to do that from the uh, workspace? And so we can totally go in and uh, do that. So over here it says actions. I can go in and create an action, subscribe it to this uh, user. So now when they come in here, what will happen is they'll have an action that they can perform. They can go in and right here from within Workspace, they can interact with that database by filling in the information. So I need to take a break. So plug in my information. When am I gonna go in and do this? So something like that. So something like that. So I come up with some sports story that I'm going to go in and cover. I'm going to take off a few days. Good to go. And then what happens is this is workspace. That was a micro app. Data is data. Uh, and so what we've got on the back end is we've got the database here. And we've got an entry in the database. And that was made possible by 
a micro app. And so the micro app went and uh, dumped this information in here to be able to go in and uh, carry forth what happens with our paid time off app. And so uh, my front end for this can now be a micro app inside of the Citrix uh, workspace. And so I'm able to go in and put this in place, see this information, see what's going on, and really be able to get a handle on what it is that we have happening within the environment and be able to simplify out a lot of what my users are going in and doing. And so, sure, it's easy to say you launch this app and you do something. Right? In reality, we're actually just using a much more basic workflow. And so the idea behind micro apps is to go in and think of this not necessarily from the standpoint of what we are doing app-wise. That's what we've been doing with Zen Apps and Desktop and Citrix Virtual Apps and uh, Desktops is we're going in and saying, look, here's a bunch of apps. Let's make it easy to get access to them uh, or give you access to them from any device anywhere. Now, let's go in and think about how you're actually using those apps. Let's think about how you're going in and actually doing certain things with them and... And then maybe we need to dig in and uh, simplify this down. And so we can make this about a task. It's not that you log in and use Jones PTO. It's that we're looking for changes to the Jones PTO database. And then how you interact with those. Somebody made a change. Are you okay with it? Are you going to approve it? Are you going to uh, escalate it to a supervisor? And so we can go in and create micro apps to focus what it is that we need to do as a task, not just say, Here's an app. Good luck. And so we can go in and streamline a lot of uh, what's happening here. And then you saw that I made a request for uh, time off. That uh, also goes in and generates a notification. And so should come in here and uh, give me a notification for my request. So I went in and said I need time off. And it went in and uh, gave me that. Yep. Now, this is uh, really kind of cool if you have an understanding of what's going on. Uh, does everybody understand what is going on with uh, databases? Um, not necessarily. Does everybody understand what's going on with databases when we start talking about commercial applications? That one's going to be a little bit uh, trickier. And so what happens is Citrix has done an awesome job of going in and making this easy to integrate with some very popular software packages. And so what happens is I've gone in and set up these databases so I can just go in and say, hey, connect to my database, look at a table and see, did anything change? And so there are some common APIs out there that I can go and exploit to be able to look at what is happening with data and uh, then notify me of what's going on. Citrix, however, has a little bit of a bigger picture of this. And so it's not just random data that Matthew created. It's not just random data that, uh, you know, Matthew's company created. There are some big picture concepts out there. And so they've gone in and worked very hard to add some integrations with some very popular software packages. So sure, I can go in and say, let's use my APIs and interact with some random data on the back end. I can also go in and they've got these Citrix provided templates where Citrix understands what these apps are. So they know what uh, Salesforce is. They know what um, Jira is. They know what G Suite and uh, uh, some of these other things are, Tableau. And so they know what those applications are. They know what the data behind that is. And so if you are a customer that is using something on this list, Citrix has already put in the integrations. So you need to be notified when, you know, if you're talking about Salesforce and you're generating sales leads, you need to be notified when there are sales leads. Citrix knows how to do that. You may need to reach out to people when they, you know, sign a guest book. Citrix knows how to go in and do that. And so they've got a lot of the actions and things that you need to take with these particular product suites. And so we can go in and say, I've got Salesforce. Here's how I interact with my Salesforce data. And then when things happen with that Salesforce data, we can go in and create the notifications. We can go in and create the pages to give us the details that go along with that. And then we can go in and determine how we need to uh, interact with some of this. And so they've done a great job of bringing some really powerful um, big data apps 
and made them incredibly easy to go in and integrate. And so if you're using something like this, integrating with it, being able to set it up and be able to provide you those notifications, and then being able to go in and give you the actions so that you've got access to apps and data and... And then the big thing that we're going for with the uh, workspace is your micro apps. And so they've developed the uh, front end and the interaction for those micro apps for about uh, 26 different packages. And so there's hundreds of things that we can go in and do with those different packages to be able to go in and do all sorts of uh, neat stuff. So this is one of those really neat and products that Citrix has brought to the uh, workspace so that it's no longer just an access piece for virtual apps and desktops. It's an integration with what we're doing with ShareFile. It's also, and then we can break things down into individual tasks, bring those tasks front and center, and really streamline and optimize the workflow of what it is we're trying to get done. And that is really kind of the big goal behind what we are doing with the uh, micro app functionality or with what they're calling the uh, Citrix workspace with intelligence. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, and if there's uh, any questions, be sure and let us know.